Mm. Secondly, the comparison obviously comes with Gordon Elliott. Um, the Gordon Elliott thing, whatever anyone's thought of it, in general terms, was either stupidity or an act of madness. It was just being thick, for want of a better phrase. In some ways, I think this is worse. I really do, because this is, this is either an act of madness or stupidity, or it's training methods, which would be unacceptable, or it's losing the plot, which is unacceptable. And particularly if you're grown up in the modern era, people take their phones everywhere. They walk down the street and take pictures of nothing and put it on their Instagram and on TikTok, etc. of nothing. If they see a horse being hit with a stick, there's going to be someone with a camera somewhere. Like, you cannot afford to lose the plot anymore. You just can't do it. And if you do do it, you will have to face the consequences. Thirdly, um, we as horse lovers spend our whole lives telling people that horses are loved. And this image absolutely goes against everything we tell people on a daily basis. And also, and this for me on a personal level, is the worst thing about all of this, other than the fact that is the horse OK? We portray an image of the whip that is used in horse racing, the encourager, the pro cush, and we emphasise it's padded. But that stick is the image that the public have of a whip with racehorses. That stick, that is the image they have. And for that reason and that reason alone, if the British Horse Racing Authority ever wanted a reason, that is why the whip's name should be changed today to either the pro Kush or the encourager, because that is the image that the general public have the horse whip in racing. 